presentation, we are going to talk about method, which is a framework to develop CSI-based live web applications. Working on web solutions can become cheaper and even faster. Now it's common to use a web application to do a task that has been usual to do it in a desktop program, such as webmail, collaborative tools, and so on. Also, you can find any mobile device with internal capabilities. But all of these new requirements introduce some new problems. At the very beginning, web pages were built and designed to be a showcase of static information only, meaning that the creative page will probably never change. The idea is to always ask the server for new information for request and then use the response, meaning that the server is not allowed to send information to the client without a client request. As time went by, those pages started to become web applications, which are more complex because of the need of a complex and real model, persistent information, a better interaction with the client, and also content updates, which can be possible with any static web page. The third three can be solved by means of a web browser to manipulate the database, for example, and Ajax. But the last one cannot be solved using a standard HTTP because it's request response mechanism. That's why a new mechanism like Comet is needed. As time went by, many approaches appeared to solve the problem of sending data from the server to the client, such as polling, polling, streaming, Comet, etc. Comet is an umbrella of technologies, compound of JavaScript to handle the data in the browser, Ajax to send and receive asynchronic information, and streaming, which allows the server to keep a connection open with the browser. The idea is to have an open connection between the server and the client to let the server send data whenever it wants. There's not a standard way to open the persistent connection between the server and the client because many browsers consider it a security problem. For this reason, there are different ways to open the connection in every browser. The most common technique is to use a forever iPhone, that is an iPhone which keeps receiving data. This technique works in most browsers, but it has some visual issues, as a waiting cursor, the looping rover, and a status bar indicating that the page didn't finish too low. Some browsers let you solve these visual issues using other techniques, for example, in Firefox, you should use the object XML HTTP request. In Opera, an even technique, and in Internet Explorer, you can use ActiveX with iPhone. Now, we are going to explain some things that are necessary to understand how Meteor works. Maybe you all know what CSI is, but just to be sure, CSI is a framework to build web applications available in many small top frameworks like Squeak, Faro, Visualworks, etc. It has some interesting characteristics like every page fragment is a component that can be nested with other components. Code debugging and recompilation. Each component can have multiple control flow, etc. Mobile View Controller is another concept you may already know. So we are going to give a brief of NBC. This pattern divides your application in three parts. The model has the distance logic, the persistent data, and so on. It's independent of any view. The view displays the model information, and the controller processes events, typically user actions, that may involve changes on the model. Announcement is an implementation of the observer pattern which is necessary in the model view controller architecture. It is richer than the traditional implementation which uses symbols, because in this implementation, an event is a real object, and this lets you add information and behavior about the event. Comparing the two code lines, it's visible that in the first approach, the change has to be triggered using the value symbol, and attach the real value. And in the second one, a new object, value announcement, will be used, and inside of it, will carry the real value. A widget that presents information such as an input field or similar relies on an auxiliary object called a value model to manage the data it presents. That is, instead of calling onto the value directly, the widget delegates this task to its value model. 
because when the widget accepts input from a user, it stores this information in its value model. When the widget needs to be updated, it does its value model for the information to be displayed. It has a simple and uniform protocol which allows work with widgets in a clean way. Now that we have seen all this concept, we're going to start talking about Meteor. Meteor is a framework that provides the way to create live web applications. It combines all the concepts seen before, like announcement, comment, value models, to create web applications using the model view controller pattern in an easy way. Meteor will give you a way to connect your model with the CSI site through a string connection, so the model change will be constantly updated on the website automatically. Meteor is divided in three layers that will fit different needs. Every layer provides more functionality by adding tools to refresh the model's updates in an easier way, and providing more abstraction on how to make these updates. Let's see the layers then. The first layer is the JavaScript layer. In this layer, a comment connection is provided, allowing to send information from the server to the client whenever you want. However, if you want to update some part of the page, you have to manage the dependencies between the CSI component and the model, and you also have to write the necessary JavaScript to refresh the page. This layer also provides the push script message, which sends pieces of JavaScript to the web browser. This layer is useful for basic web applications which don't need to have a lot of updates going on. Now let's see an example of the first layer of Meteor. You only need to do two things to use Meteor. First, you have to subclassify from the Meteor component, like you see there. And the other thing you have to do is to change the session to Meteor session in initialize method. Like you see there. The next layer in the framework is the announcement layer. This layer combines the JavaScript layer, the announcement framework, and the JavaScript library to provide more abstraction than the previous one. With this layer, you can declare announcement in the method component that will update page fragments using the CSI style. As you can see in the code fragment, you can declare that every time some kind of announcement from an object is announced, the component has to update a DOM element. This update is done by a render block or a message which can receive as argument the renderer, the announcement, and the announcer. The most important thing this layer provides is the absence of JavaScript. Now it's possible to write updates using just the CSI protocol. Another important thing is that the dependency between the method component and model are automatically managed. Let's see an example of the second layer. We have a Meteor component, an announcement, and a unique and shared model. And there's also a desktop application which works with the same model and the counter. Now, if we go to the initialize method in the counter, we can see that we assign the, the model to an instant variable, and using the message hello, we are saying that every time the model announces the counter change announcement, the count ID will be updated through the render block. 
Now, we don't have any JavaScript here. In the run of content on, we have a div with, a, with an ID count and, and two anchors, one that increases the model and one that decreases the model. Now we go to uh, the increase method and we see that we increase a variable and then we announce using the content change announcement. Now we go to the browser here and we have there the anchor that we increase. Then we open the desktop application and we see that everything updates. Okay. Layer layer in Meteor framework is a web value model layer. This layer combines the previous layer, the HTML widgets, and value models to create a set of widgets that can be used like desktop ones. This layer includes an interesting wrapper, the web value model. The web value model wraps a value model and the capability to trigger announcement besides the usual change mechanism. Using the announcement layer with the web value models, we will build web widgets that are automatically updated when its web value models changes. To use it, you only need to choose a predefined widget, like an input field or a list, and define the model aspect the widget is interested in. And our framework will manage the dependencies and the updates for its own. Let's see the previous example using these new widgets. First, we are going to create an instant variable called countDN. And then we change the on of update callback method to the assignment of the uh, web value model. The web value model we create with the self counter model looking the aspect count. Now we go to the runner content form and we change the div with the div at the table looking for the count VM. That we see there. And in the shared control model we add a self change with the aspect count. So now we go to the browser and we see that everything goes normal. We open the desktop application and it works okay. As a final example we are going to show you a more interesting application using the Taro layer. We have implemented the chat with a model compound of room which has a user list and messages. The view is compound of two material components that represents the user list and the messages of the chat, and a normal seaside component to send messages from the browser to the model. We also have implemented an updatable table with its model, which has some fake users to present some information. Finally, there's a root component which holds the others two as children. Now, let's see in the browser, here in the example, now we see the chat, the table, Opera browser, we can edit the depth and will be updated in five months. Now we can open the chat and change the nick to Firefox, for example, and write something like hello. And we go to Opera and scroll down the chat and see how the user list is updated, and also the messages are updated. Well, that's all. We hope you like it.